Hello and welcome to Med4 Care. I am Dr. Care and today's topic will be constipation, its causes and its diagnosis and treatment. Constipation indicates a clinical situation in which there is an infrequent and difficult evacuation of stool. This disorder is more common in women than in men and can affect any age group. It is in fact very common in children, but also the elderly often suffer from it in a chronic way. Constipation has multiple causes that are often difficult to accurately identify. In particular, the causes are different depending on whether it is primary or secondary constipation. In the first case, the slow motility of intestinal transit is often linked to a functional problem affecting the colon or rectum. In the second case, however, various pathologies may be at the root. Among these, the most common are neurological disorders, such as Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, and Hirschsprung's disease. Myopathies, such as scleroderma and myotonic dystrophy. Abuse of drugs, such as opioids, NSAIDs, anticholinergics, and antipsychotics. Metabolic disorders, such as diabetes mellitus, hypothyroidism and hypercalcemia. Structural changes, such as colon cancer or intestinal stricture. Regardless of the underlying cause, constipation can be aggravated by predisposing factors such as a low-fiber diet, abdominal surgery, and polypharmacotherapies. Symptoms associated with constipation. In most cases, constipation occurs in association with other symptoms. Among the most frequent are small amounts of stools, hard stools, rectal tenesmus, discomfort felt before and during bowel movement, sensation of blockage or obstruction in the rectal level, abdominal pain and swelling, pelvic pain. If the origin of constipation is a prolonged state of hypercalcemia, specific symptoms such as nausea, gastric hyperacidity, vomiting and apathy may be associated. Constipation Assessment and Diagnosis The evaluation of a suspected case of constipation must always begin with a careful history by the gastroenterologist. The specialist, in addition to evaluating any family illnesses, concentrates on collecting information relating to the frequency of bowel movements, the onset of constipation, the description of the symptoms reported during evacuation and the characteristics of the stools evacuated. The physical examination is based on a careful inspection of the abdominal region and it is often decisive to perform an anal exploration with a finger when any type of interrectal obstruction is suspected. In particular, in the case of functional constipation, that is when the peristaltic movement of the food content tends to slow down due to non-organic causes, due to a mechanical obstruction of the intestinal viscera or to factors not well identified. The diagnosis hinges on the so-called Rome criteria 4. Functional constipation is diagnosed if at least two of the following criteria are met for at least three months during a semester. Fewer than three bowel movements per week. Hard stools, sensation of anorectal obstruction, sensation of incomplete evacuation, carrying out manual maneuvers to complete the act of evacuation in more than a quarter of total evacuations, resorting to physical exertion for more than a quarter of the time necessary for evacuation. However, the use of more specific tests such as the dosage of some metabolites through blood tests, or the execution of instrumental tests such as anorectal manometry and colonoscopy is often decisive. Cures and Treatments for Constipation a diet that includes an adequate amount of fiber. A correct intake of liquids and the elimination of pro-inflammatory foods is the basis of the prevention of constipation. In children under the age of 4, it can often be helpful to start toilet training. While in adults the routine use of prebiotics and probiotics is always recommended. As for the pharmacological treatment, the first choice drugs that are used in the treatment of constipation are represented by laxatives, such as polyethylene glycol, used especially in childhood. If necessary, the surgical management of patients with chronic constipation is based on the administration of enemas, the resection of certain intestinal tracts and the removal of any anorectal obstructions. We are now at the end of today's video, we hope you enjoyed it. If you found it useful, please support us with a nice like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon on Med4Care.